here's a video on how um, how we first started. My wife and I first started soul winning. We were just new into listening to Pastor Anderson, like around 2016, I would say 2015, 16, and um, we started hearing a lot of sermons, and there was quite a few of them that really made an impact on it on us and it was like how we should be a soul winner, a Christian should be soul winning. So, you know, we are like, you know, we, we weren't doing that, so we're like, man, you know, we really got to start, you know, let's do this, you know, I want to win people to, uh, to the Lord. So, we went in uh, on YouTube and like looked up all these videos and sermons on, on soul winning, you know, we saw a uh, pastor... Uh, Pastor Jimenez had his 12 series sermon. We saw these so winning uh, like presentations that Pastor Anderson had. Uh, Pastor Romero had these, you know, other so winning videos. So we kind of, you know, watched all these. We wrote some notes, and then we like so, you know, uh, practice with with each other. But uh, you know, we still had a, a struggle, and with us, it was actually going to the door and knocking. You know, that was a little, uh, that was a, a fear for us. So, I started calling all, in all these churches in Orlando. I was calling, you know, um, independent fundamental Baptist churches all around town. And I ended up finding one church, like, way across town that, uh, that did go. So, when they call themselves uh, independent fundamental Baptist... Uh, but I think they're American Baptists. I'm not sure what the difference is. Uh, I never heard of that before. Uh, so don't don't freak out about that. I don't know what that is. <laughs> um, so yeah, they're like, yeah, we go soul winning on Thursday nights. <coughs> but Thursday nights is only for men. You know, and this is because uh, the sun was, you know, it'll get a little bit dark in Orlando. So, you know, they wanted you know, to keep the women safe, which was pretty cool. And then on, on Saturdays... Uh, everyone else would go so winning. Well, um, so I was like, cool. I, I almost made a few excuses to not go that day. I, I'm not going to lie. I was a little nervous. But we, I ended up going. So uh, the pa everyone kind of looked shocked because they were like, you actually want to go so winning. And this is a big church. It's about 200 people and only four people showed up for so winning. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I'd like to go learn how to go soul winning. So, um, you know, as we went out, we just, you know, walked around. I was going to be the silent partner. And all they, you know, they did was pretty much just knock on a door. Here's a church track. We want to invite you to church. Can I pray for you? And I was like, that's not really, you know, in my head, I'm thinking, you know, that's not really soul winning. Um, but... I think what I got out of it was, hey, you know what? I actually went out and knocked on a door. It's not a big, scary thing like, um, like I, you know, I thought it would be. So when I, you know, got back home, I was like, hey, you know, we didn't go so winning. We actually went inviting, but I overcame my, you know, that little fear. I'm not gonna lie. When I first started so winning, I did have a lot of fear. Um, on just talking to strangers, you know, just talking to new people. That's just, you know, it was, it was just something uh, about it. But uh, so my wife and I on Sunday were like, all right, let's do this. You know, we practice. Let's let's actually go out and and win someone to the Lord. So you know, I invited one of my friends. So it was just us three. We're going so winning. The first door I knock on, I was like, hey, God forbid if you die today, you know, one hundred percent sure you're going to heaven. And the guy's like, yes, I'm Methodist. And I kind of froze because I didn't, I, you know, it was a weird, it was a weird thing. So I didn't know what, what to expect. I'm like, you're Methodist. Uh, you're supposed to say no or you're supposed to say, like, it wasn't in my script. So I froze and he goes, okay, bam, slams the door. And I was like, I froze, my bad. <laughs> I was like, my bad. So we go to the next door and, you know, I, I think I should go back to that neighborhood because um, no one got saved. But it will, you know, we at least uh, did some practicing there, and then eventually, you know, we started watching some more videos and sermons. And then we heard there was going to be a soul winning marathon in Jacksonville, Florida. And of course, this is when 
Tyler Baker was was going to be sent out there. So we were excited to go out, and uh, you know, so we, we took we we asked for the day off. We made sure we had it planned out, and we had a friend uh, from New York, but now it uh, goes to steadfast in Texas. His name is Doug Trowbridge. He called me up, said, "Hey man, how's it going?" I'm your friend on Facebook. I just want to, you know, make sure you're going to the Subway Marathon. I'm like, yeah, of course. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna go there. And so he invited to go sewing and you know, we asked him if we could be his sewing partner. If we, if my wife and I could be his silent partner. Well, we were like there, nervous. You know, you know, when we go out sewing, we haven't had much success. And you know, we see this guy. He's He's actually been, I guess he's been to a few so many marathons before, but he's been doing this really well. So when my wife and I went with uh, brother Doug, uh, it was pretty awesome. You know, like we had, we had a big problem with just courage. We, we were afraid of, of getting rejected, just getting, you know, we just, we were, we were afraid. So... Um, our group leader, his name was John, he gave us, you know, a pamphlet and, you know, map out to where a place to go to. And, man, we were in the ghetto in the worst area. And I was like, you know, in my head, I'm like, I wouldn't go so This is crazy. I know, don't judge me. This is back then. Mm -hmm. And I'm over here like, oh, boy, this is, man, this is a bad area. We're about to get a shot. And Doug is like, oh, happy, man, this is a perfect area. This is awesome. I'm like, yeah, okay. Then um, then we started knocking on doors. You know, we went up to one house, and it was a, a little kid. I forgot his name. I think his name was, like, John or something like that, or Robert. And, you know, Doug, when he knocked on a door, he was banging the door loud. And I'm over here like, whoa, did you not watch Pastor Anderson's video, Don't Knock Like the Police? And he's a... <laughs> And, you know, I'm, I'm just thinking about this in my head. But, uh, you know, nothing bad happened. And, you know, he just, it's just the bravery of, of Doug really spoke to us. And I'm like, you know what, this guy is fearless. And I really want to want to be like this. We were knocking on doors. Uh, we knocked on one Muslim guy. And he looked, the Muslim guy looked angry. And I really liked it because Doug was like, oh, you know, what do you think a Muslim, you know, I can show you what a Muslim has to do to be saved. He said something like that. And it was just amazing. He, oh, he had something. He was really prepared. And it really motivated us. And, you know, it was just, it, that was like our best experience. And ever since that so winning marathon, you know, being a, a silent partner to Doug, even though only one person got saved while we were there, man, it, it skyrocketed uh, our, our so winning marathon. We just went out and uh and just started so winning every weekend and i think to, last year we had the small group of us our group started growing as we met more people but our group got a total of 114 people saved and that's just by you know overcoming the, our little fears well that's our so winning testimony or my so winning testimony of that i have a few more i'll post them on some funny moments some crazy moments and some memorable moments so have a wonderful day